Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your organization has turned off automatic updates in Windows 10. And this is a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle. And the first thing I would suggest would be to go ahead and open up the star menu. Type in services. Best match to come back with services right above app. So go ahead and just off click on that. Now you want to first locate the background intelligence transfer service. Double click on that. Set startup type to automatic. And if server status is stopped, you want to start it. And then select applying, okay? And now you want to locate the Windows update service. Same thing, automatic as well as started, and then select applying, okay? Attempt to run a Windows update now and see if that has resolved the problem. Another thing you can try would be to, if you're running Windows 10 Professional or Higher Edition, we're going to go through the Group Policy Editor. I'll have a Registry Editor method for Windows 10 Home users, so that'll come second. But the first one I'm going to show is going to be Group Policy Editor. So just type in GP Edit. Best match, edit group policy. Go ahead and just left click on that to open it up. So expand underneath computer configuration, locate the administrative templates folder. So not under user configuration, again, under computer configuration here. I'll actually just collapse this section so you don't get confused. And again, under administrative templates, double click on it. Do the same thing for Windows components and do the same thing for a Windows Update. You should only need to left click on it one time though. And now on the right side you want to look for something that says Configure Automatic Updates and double click on it. Give it a moment to load and make sure it's set to Not Configured and then select Apply and OK. So again, Configure Automatic Updates, you're going to double click on that and make sure it's set to Not Configured. Select OK if you have to make any changes, close it here, restart your device, and then attempt to run a Windows update, and that should be about it. Now, if you are running a Windows 10 Home Edition, you do not have the Group Policy Editor, so you're going to have to go through the registry, which is going to be a little bit more complicated, but hopefully shouldn't be too bad. And that's going to entail us opening up the Start menu. Type in RegEdit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if you ever need to go back, it's easy enough to do. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just left click on the file tab, select export. File name, I was just naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all, and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, you would just select File and then Import. So pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So double click on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing for software. Locate Policy, so double click on that. Microsoft, so double click on that one. Should be a Windows folder. Double click on that. And then finally, Windows Update, right here, double click, and then just left click on this AU folder one time. So if you need to pause the video and take note of our file path up at the top of the registry editor, you are more than welcome to. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under up to this point. Now you want to locate on the right side something that says AU Options. If you do not see anything that says AU Options, you're going to have to create it. So just right click in a blank area, select New, and then D Word 32 bit value. Call it AU Options, all one word in the AUO oral capital, followed by P T I O N S. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Now you want to double click on it. Now the value data is going to depend on what you want to set it to. So if you want to change it to notify to download and auto install, you change it to a 2. Auto download and notify for install would be 3. Auto download and schedule the install would be 4. 
and allow local admin to choose the setting would be 5. So obviously it's going to depend on what setting you want to choose. However, for most people I would say auto download and notify to install probably would be sufficient which is 3. You can listen to this video again for the options as I stated them. And make sure base is hexadecimal. Select OK. And now at this point I would suggest closing out of here, restart your computer, check for updates, and that should have hopefully been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.